When you come into a bit of money, well, the cockroaches come out of the woodwork. Can't have been easy. Moving from big house farm, making the adjustment from owning your own place to renting at uh, 28 Rose Meadow Lane. A man doesn't sit around moping. He's got to get out there, got to get grafting. Between 1978 and 1983, you spent over £125,000. That's 35000 more than your winnings. One spot the wall. Which you've got to speculate to accumulate. Is that when you started gambling? <laughs> what, three or four pounds a week? Fifty pence round robin, hardly call that gambling. Adrian told Huntsman you bet a thousand pounds on one race. He misremembered. April 20th, 1983, Clariston Hall, Freystock. Your first conviction for burglary. That your idea of grafting, John? back to Dufferin Prison today. I'm not a thief. Well done, Rumble. Okay. Well, uh, you told Huntsman that you visited Scofson Park for the first time in August 1984. Uh, when you went to meet Richard and Helen Thomas about working on their land. Is that correct, John? I know what Adrian told Huntsman about Scoverston Park, about me telling him and his mother to lie to the police about us all being in that night, the night of the fire, that the truth was, according to him, that I came home late smelling of a bonfire. Now, you say you haven't spoken to him, fair enough. There's something I want to get off my chest. Everything that comes out of that boy's mouth his lies has been ever since we didn't take him to Spain. When me and Pat got back, he was a different boy. He was surly, disobedient, bunking off school, smoking wacky backy, forging checks, stealing money off us, and all because we didn't take him on holiday. As a father, I take no pleasure in saying this, but the truth is, the real truth, the night of the fire, the murders, Adrian was the one who came only. 